The Sayyid-3 missile has added a new capability to the S-200, Sharm said in Tehran on today. Using this missile in the S-200 system, mid-altitude targets can be hit, he added. Sharm said that the S-200 missile shield had earlier been equipped with Sayyid-2 missiles. The Iranian Defense Ministry inaugurated the production line of Sayyid-2 in November. The production line of the missile was launched in a ceremony attended by former Iranian Defense Minister Brigadier General Hossein Deccan. The designing and production of Sayyid-2 missile was brought on agenda to have the needed defensive tool for confronting possible air raids, Deccan said, addressing the ceremony in Tehran at the time. The missile enjoys a solid fuel engine with a combined guiding system and high operational capabilities, he added. Deccan explained that Sayyid-2 is a missile for mid-range and high-altitude air defense systems, designed based on the state-of-the-art technologies which can destroy different types of helicopters, drones and targets with small radar cross-section, and high speed and maneuverability within its operational range. Iran successfully test-fired Sayyid-2 in Iran had earlier unveiled Sayyid-1 surface-to-air missile which is a two-staged air defense missile that is capable of destroying targets with low radar cross-section RCS, at low and medium altitudes. The system enjoys the capability to defuse jamming and electronic warfare attacks. Sayyid-2 is an upgraded version and enjoys higher precision, range and destruction power compared with its previous version. Iran announced in August 2013 that it has used the latest home-made missile production, Sayyid-2, in its sophisticated S-200 anti-aircraft system. Commander of Qatam al-Anbiya Air Defense Base Brigadier General Farzad Esmaili told reporters in Tehran at the time that the country has used Sayyid-2 missiles in its S-200 defense systems, adding that the restructuring of the system was the result of the industrious efforts made by experts at the Iranian defense industries and his base. In November 2010, Iran successfully test-fired its sophisticated S-200 anti-aircraft missile systems. Iran's S-200 system is a very long-range, medium-to-high-altitude surface-to-air missile SAM, system designed to defend large areas from bomber attack or other strategic aircrafts. Each battalion has six single-rail missile launchers and fire control radar. It can be linked to other, longer-range radar systems. Each missile is launched by four solid-fueled strap-on rocket boosters. Maximum range is between 200 and 350 kilometers depending on the model. The missile uses radio illumination mid-course correction to fly towards the target with a terminal semi-active radar homing phase. Iranian Defense Minister Hossein Degan said in a ceremony that the Sayyid-3 missile can reach an altitude of 27 kilometers and has a range of 120 kilometers. The missiles can target warplanes, unmanned aerial vehicles, cruise missiles and helicopters, Degan said. Degan also said at Saturday's ceremony that the new $110 billion military deal between the United States and Saudi Arabia, announced during U.S. President Donald Trump's visit to Riyadh in May, was aimed at threatening Iran. We have recently seen large purchases made by several countries in the region as ransom to America and they intend to bring weapons to the region, and these purchases were made with the aim of threatening Iran," Degan said, according to State TV quoted by the office. Reuters News. Last week the United States imposed new economic sanctions on Iran over its missile program, saying that Tehran's destructive activities in the Middle East undermined any positive contributions that came from the 2015 Iran nuclear deal. The United States government says the sanctions cover 18 entities and persons who support what it calls Iranian illicit actors or transnational criminal acts.
those who are sanctioned support the Iranian military or Iran's Revolutionary Guard Corps by developing drones and military equipment, manufacturing and maintaining ships, procuring electronic components according to the United States government. Others have masterminded the theft of U.S. and Western software programs for sale to the Iranian government, the U.S. Treasury said in a statement. Last Monday the Trump administration declared that Iran was in compliance with the nuclear deal. It was the second certificate of compliance Trump has given Iran since he took office, though he called it the worst deal in the 2016 presidential election campaign, criticizing Barack Obama, who was president when the deal was negotiated.